Today we're going to make your basic dinner rolls that require flour, water, yeast, butter, sugar, milk, and eggs. Oh, and salt. Once you're done mixing the ingredients on a floured area, knead the dough thoroughly and put it in a buttered pan and let it rise. You'll need to let it rise for about an hour, hour and a half in a warm area and then punch the middle to make a nice imprint to let you know you're done. And if your dough looks like the rear end of an albino elephant, it's perfect. After the dough is done rising, break it off into manageable pieces and put it in the fridge to let it cool. Keep in mind that the dough may continue to rise once it's in the refrigerator, so make sure you leave a little bit of room in whatever you're putting it in. The best thing about these rolls is they make the whole house smell so good. I like to roll the dough out to where it's about a quarter of an inch thick and then cut it into triangles. The triangles can be different sizes. They don't have to be all one size. Just like when you're eating a roll, um, sometimes you might want a bigger one. Sometimes you might want a smaller one. This is pretty much the funnest part of making these rolls. You just start at the larger end and kind of roll your way to the smaller end. And as you get to the smaller end of the dough, you just pick it up a little bit and then stretch the thinner part just like that and kind of press it at the very end and then set it um, down. And these are called crescent rolls, by the way. There's different ways you can use these basic dinner rolls to make um, a dinner roll. But I've always liked the crescent roll. Um, they're more versatile. They break apart. Um, they're really flaky if it's done right. And then you just make sure it's pressed just like that. One of the main ingredients in these rolls that make them taste so good is the butter. They're used in the preparation of the dough and then at the very end you put a nice coating of butter on the rolls right before they go into the oven. Enjoy!